Viral Science, the home of creativity. This video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to make a gas leakage detection system with Blink 2.0. I've already made this project years ago with Blink version 1 but now it's not available for the new users. So I'm recreating this project with Blink 2.0 on your demand. There is just a little change in the Blink setup, rest everything is same. So let's get started with this video. So for this project you will need a ESP8266 node MCU board, MQ2 gas sensor, and some jumper wires. Now follow this circuit diagram and make your connections. Till you make the connections, let's look at the sponsor of this video. Ultium 365 Designer is an amazing tool with lots of features that makes PCB designing very easy and fast. You can share your PCB designs with a click to your teammate and they will receive an email with the link where they can easily view the designs using the browser and comment the reviews and corrections on the project itself. Ultium 365 is a full built package and requires no additional licenses. And with the Octopart linked with Ultium, you can get real time insights and the data of all the components. It's the fast search engine for electronic components and you can find each minute detail of the components in it. Links for the free trial Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart is in the description below so you can check it out. After completing the connections, connect your ESP board with your computer. Now open the browser and search for Blink IoT. Open this first link and click on login. Over here, after login, you can click on this new template and create one template. I'm labeling it as gas detection alert. We'll select the board as ESP266, connection type Wi-Fi and give the description of this project. Now we'll press on the done button. Now click on the data streams. Here we'll create the new data stream. So we'll use virtual pin and we'll name it as gas value. Alias name is also gas value. We'll select the pin virtual v0 and data type as integer and maximum value will be 1000. And we'll press on the create button. Next we'll go to events and here we'll create a new event. We'll name the event as gas alert. Event code will be the same and we'll press on the warning button and here we'll enter the warning message that is gas leakage detected. And then we'll press on these two buttons. Now we'll move to the notification settings and we'll enable the notifications and we'll send it to device owner and we'll set the duration to every one minute and we'll click on create. Now we'll go to web dashboard and here we'll search for gauge. Now drag this to your main board and go to settings and label this as gas value and select the data stream as v0. You can also change the color and we'll click on save button. Now we'll go to the search button on the left hand side and here we'll click on new device. We'll add a new device from a template. Here you will get all the authentication credentials. So just click on it and it will get copied. Now open the Arduino code and paste it on the top of this code. Next thing you need to change is the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. So enter the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Then we are using A0 pin for the MQ2 guest sensor and we need to change this threshold value. So this is the value which we are getting from the MQ2 sensor and we'll set a threshold value. So if the value exceeds, it will get triggered. So first we'll select the board that is node MCU ESP26612 e board. We'll select the board and we'll upload this code. 
So after uploading the code, open the serial monitor. Select the baud rate as 115200 and click on the clear output button. So here you will get the readings of the MQ2 guest sensor. So this is the normal reading and when I apply some gas over it and it will change the readings. So we will take an average reading when the gas is thrown on the sensor and we will use that reading as the threshold value. So I repeated this process multiple times to get an accurate threshold value. So in my case it was around 650. So when the sensor value touches the threshold value, it triggers the email and also the notification on the smartphone. And also make sure the event code parameter is same as what you mentioned in the events. So over here you can go and check what you entered. So this should be same as in the code. So now again upload the code after setting the threshold value. Now open the Blink IoT mobile application, tap on these three dots, open the developer mode, open this project which we created. Here click on the add button and over here we will add a gauge. So press on this gauge button, open this. And over here go to data stream and select the v0 data stream. You can also change the color of this gauge. So to change go to design and over here in the bottom you can change the color. And even you can change the font size as well. After setting everything press the back button. Again press the back button and go to the main dashboard. So finally the project is ready to be tested. So to test this project I am using a gas lighter. So when I throw gas on this sensor you can see the change in the value. As soon as it reaches to 650 it triggers the notification. You can see the notification gas detection alert. And it will also trigger an email on the owner's id. So as you can see this. So friends I hope you like this project then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.